Well, we're back here at the compound again with the truck. Knock on wood. Still going good. What have I gotten done? Not enough. Actually, somebody dropped that stuff off over there. I dug out a few more scraps. But yeah, the truck breaking down kind of set me back a little bit, so we got some catching up to do. Maybe I'll do a pallet run tomorrow, maybe not, I don't know. But the idea is to get this aisle, this lane right here, completely cleared out. Maybe I can get to this uh, camper trailer and we can start playing with that. I don't know. Of course, I have to make a I have to make a trip all the way out to Elsip, Illinois, which is. A good 50 miles away <clears throat> so I'm gonna have to unload the truck unfortunately I don't know to get them trucks running I keep thinking of different strategies Start with a small one first and have that one help me, you know, relieve throwing stuff on the ground, then work my way up to getting that one going again, and then get the big yellow one going. Most of this wouldn't even hit the ground then. We just go from, instead of going on the ground like that, it's going to happen right now, we'd go right into one of those box trucks be a whole lot less stress you'd see a whole happier king that's for sure I'd be able to do more curbside I'd be able to work on cars more I'd be able to take care of stuff at home and when you got the bills going you know that, that bill monster, which everybody has, it really, uh, doesn't help the poverty situation. But yeah, there's a family friend in Elsa that claims they have a home covered in aluminum siding. Like, this has got to be a really old house. No, these aren't brass. That's a fool man's brass right there. It's all steel. Because if it was, wow, that would be like $60 worth easily. Maybe more. So I always check these, I always check these brass headboards to see if they really are brass. knocking myself dead for no reason almost right because this stuff isn't really worth a lot well I did want to sell that I don't know let's see if I did any damage to it not really I'll keep it over there I'm not really into selling things but hey let's build an inventory if we can Or we could just leave it sit out until it rains and then it starts to rot like all the other stuff over there. 
Actually, I was going to give it to my daughter because she said she was moving out about six months ago, getting an apartment with that guy. I found her a table, really nice table and chairs, and that one could put, and I was going to put it in the warehouse. And I just sat out here until it rotted away. It's garbage now. Oh well. I work for nothing, right? <laughs> hey, at least I could laugh about it. <sighs> Never mind me, I'm just taking a break. So, taking a break. And I climbed up here. Only to want to climb back down again. I don't know. Cause these things are super heavy, actually. I don't want to jump down off the tailgate as much, you know what I mean, as possible. Because I'm over 300 pounds and I don't want to have to have knee replacements. You know how, like, a lot of people have, like, bad joints and stuff. On this antique fan. If I leave it outside, I don't know why I was afraid. The property manager might take it. He took the last one. I just let him take it. He's like, Can I have this? I'm like, Once again, I'm not really in a position to say no. If you know what I mean. Is this thing switched on? I don't even know. Alright, go right to the source. Hey, twirling. I don't know what's wrong with it. Maybe the maybe the blade is loose or something. Or maybe it's hitting because the cage the cage is off centered. Let's try that again. I unplugged it. I unplugged it because it's an electric motor and, you know, if the motor gets overloaded, electric motors get shorted out. I'm sniffing. I smell electric. Well, it still works. You know, the smell of electricity, like a little bit faint. Hey, it runs. I unplugged it. Feeling the motor. It's not hot. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'll bring this bad boy indoors. Because unless I bury it, it'll probably get horn swoggled.
There's a word you don't hear. Why I got hornswoggled. <laughs> Why that just got hornswoggled there? That's better than swearing. Use some use some word that's never used. Then he started adding up, and a lot of a lot of costs aren't going away. In fact, some are going to go up. Okay. So you need to make sure you do plan correctly. I've seen a lot of people who really like that no, they I, have a plan. That sounds boring. Ad nauseum, we've come up with the analogy, you and I, that, you know, if I was a builder and I came to you and I said, I gotta get my feet away from that, even though I got steel toed shoes on. I don't really want to be around that. Listen, listen to that thing creak as I get up on this thing. Looked heavy it's falling off the truck like that, didn't it? I'm flinching from the microwave. Get ready to. Yeah, I know. In my other video, I was uh, pitching a bitch about the, about the boyfriend, kind of, because my main deal with that guy is that he's a stranger. Like my daughter's other boyfriends. She had two before. They were, they were kind of idiots, but <clears throat> they uh I at least got to know them. And they would actually they would actually talk to me. One guy got married already to somebody else. He, he joined the army and I guess he he got married. So he's out of the picture. Probably. I didn't really care for him that much, but you know, at least he was. He wasn't a straight. Well, there's a little disconnect in the video because it got interrupted by a telephone call. Uh, I guess there's a scrap that I have there in Elsa, Illinois, and the people are holding it for me, but I guess that place is even even more poverty than Juliet and the scrap trucks hovering over the uh, oh by the house you know by the by the dumpster you know all the way out here at Joe Alice Drive in Alice of Illinois you for the scraps
Well, I came out here and I got from these guys, I got a bunch of everything in the truck. We got the truck full just from this one dumpster right here. There's still a few more down there, but I can't, I can't get at them. Buried under all that weight. Got compressor, a couple old bikes, even a lawnmower that might run. I don't know. I'll give it a whirl, see what happens.